Recently, I ran into a bit of a problem with the Open Chat Wallet and the NNS. Specifically, unbeknownst to myself, I had bought some OGY tokens without knowing that there's two versions. There's an ICRC2 and there's an ICRC1. More specifically, if we open the Open Chat Wallet, we will see that there's an OGY here at the top, which is the ICRC1 which I'm going to demonstrate here momentarily. And then there's another OGY down here, which is the RC RC2, which is the evidently the, the current token that's supported in the NNS. And you'll notice that there are zero extra details available in the open chat wallet to give you any indication what the difference between this OGY and this OGY, which is a big part of what caused the problem. You'll notice here in the NNS that I have a about 2,963 OGY tokens. This is the newer ICRC2 token, which I will further demonstrate here. And well, what happened when I transferred the old ICRC1 token to the NNS to the receive address for this token, which I got the receive address here, the tokens never showed up because I sent an unsupported token to the NNS. Fortunately, I've discovered a way to recover that, which is what I'm about to show you. First, we're going to go back to the list of tokens. And what we want to do here is just right click on a blank area of the page, go to inspect. This is in the Google Chrome browser also, by the way. And in here, we want to go to the console and According to a video that I saw from Definity, you should be able to use this command here, which should then show you an ICRC1 token in the NNS. And it doesn't do it for me for some reason that I'm not clear on. I'm going to link the original Definity video in the description. There's no context. There's no text on screen. There's no dialogue to explain any of this. I was just able to figure it out. and. I wanted to make a video about this to help others out and quite frankly, so that I can refer to my own video in the future if I run into a similar problem again. So I went over to ICP swap and I'm going to connect my wallet and specifically I'm going to connect my internet identity. Of course, I'm not going to show you my internet identity, but it is the internet identity wallet that I'm going to connect. Although I don't think it, it's not strictly necessary that you connect an internet identity wallet for, for this specific process. So after connecting my wallet, I made sure to go to the wallet with the wallet icon here at the top right. And you will see that the origin token that currently displays is the ICRC-2, but I actually want to add the older OGY or origin token. So I'm gonna click the plus symbol, gonna search for OGY or origin as it were. And you'll see that there's little tiny writing here in red that reads legacy and it's the ICRC-1. And I'm going to hit plus. Now, I think it's probably not necessary to actually add the token, but this is what I did. And I also wanted to go ahead and add it just so you can see the two origin tokens side by side here. Next, I went up to swap and to pro mode. And at this point, what I did is I changed this token from ICS by clicking the down arrow and typing in OGY and then switching it to the legacy OGY, which is the ICRC1 token. And now I was able to get this string of characters and I just copied this to my clipboard. I went ahead and pasted that value into just a blank notepad to show you a little bit more easily on screen here. And this is that string of characters. And this is just strictly to show you. The part that's really important is this string of characters right here. And I will put this as an example in the video description. However, bear in mind that this is going to differ based on token. So if you're doing the exact same thing with the origin ICRC1 token, the legacy token, then this string of characters is correct. But if you are doing this for any other token, then this string of characters is not correct. And again, to reiterate, if it's not the origin ICRC1 token, you're going to want to get a different set of characters 
which again, talking about this set of characters, in this case, it's for the OGY ICRC1 token, but you would just simply select whatever the appropriate token for your use case is. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just copy this whole string of characters, and I'm gonna paste right here into the console. Now, if you get a warning, read the warning, because you might have to type allow pasting in order to do this. Now that I've entered it, you'll see that I now have a second origin listed here. And these are my missing tokens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into OpenChat, open the wallet. And since I already sent 50 tokens here as a test, I already know that this is the correct address. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to receive, copy this address. I'm going to go back into the NNS and I'm going to send this old origin back to OpenChat at the address that I just copied from the OpenChat wallet. And now if I refresh this balance, we should see my tokens. And there they are. And now at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and swap these right back to ICP as I just want to be done with this at this point. And evidently the liquidity is pretty low and it's saying that I will receive 6.4 ICP. So it looks like I'm probably going to lose, you know, seven or eight dollars, but that's better than losing all 61 or so that it was worth when I tried to do this earlier today. And that swap is complete. Now I have ICP in my open chat wallet. You also see that the origin balance is now zero. And if I refresh this page, this entry is going to disappear here. This is not permanent. And we'll see that the old origin with the lowercase spelling is now gone. And so what I'm actually going to do for the moment is I'm just going to get my ICP receive address, come back to open chat, and I'm going to send the ICP back to myself. And we'll see that it says that the transfer is complete and I'm not going to save a name. And back here in the NNS, if I go back to my list of tokens. I should should see my ICP and there it is. I'd also just like to mention that, you know, I went into the open chat community, which I have since left, which I think you'll possibly understand here in a moment because I said that this happened, you know, and then I also transferred some dog me to the NNS or tried to, and apparently that was also an old token or a fraudulent token or something because it also didn't show up, but I don't really care because the 157,000 dog me was worth less than a cent. So I'm not going to go through the trouble of trying to recover that. But when you look in the open chat wallet, and there is absolutely no way to tell the difference between these two. And when somebody tells you that you should have done your own research and, and you shouldn't just complain and basically try to blame you, they're not entirely wrong, except you can't really do research on something that's lacking detail. Like there are no details that you can get. You can't like, th this isn't clickable. You, cl you can't click on this to get like the contract address or the canister ID. There, there are no other details. So as I see it, it's a flaw in their wallet. Now at the same time, they're not entirely wrong in the sense that you should always be extremely careful with crypto. You know, I made the mistake of thinking, you know, open chat, you know, the base kind of like the flagship dap on the internet computer. And well, that just goes to show you, you should never give anyone or anything the benefit of the doubt. You should always double, triple, quadruple check. Fortunately, I was able to recover my funds and no big harm has been done. This is a lesson for myself and hopefully you will have learned from this as well. And if you run into a similar problem, hopefully this helps you to recover your funds.